Hey there, yogi, what's going on with your malasana? You know, garland pose? Bad habits tend to creep in over time, either due to complacency, or maybe we never quite learned our garland yogic squat correctly the first time. Regardless of the reason, we are going to examine the three biggest mistakes in our garland pose and how we can fix these issues. Hello, magnificent human beings. My name is Lannon Slaughter, helping you discover that fun and consistent at-home yoga practice. Today, we're going to take a short journey through Malasana, our garland pose, examine some of the biggest mistakes and how we can fix them. Let's get started right now. The biggest elephant in the room for a lot of folks with this pose seems to be issues around discomfort in their knees. Okay, squatting down, ow. Okay, squatting down, ower. Okay, squatting down, owist. If knee pain is familiar for you in this pose, then I encourage you to move things around just a little bit. Proper form and alignment in this pose kind of goes out the window if your knees are hurting. So I encourage you to open your stance up a little bit if that feels better, or make it a little bit more shallow if that's going to work for you. Furthermore, ducking out your feet a little bit may help to alleviate some of the pain as well. You're just going to have to play. Dead bug syndrome is defined as, well, just watch. <laughs> if that is you, then just grab a block for your booty. Propping yourself up just a little bit will really help you to find better alignment in this pose. Furthermore, you can separate your knees and feet as much as they need to be for what feels best for you. Last time I checked, humans are more homo sapien than anything else. So what's with all these Neanderthal primate tendencies? <sighs> <sighs> Rather than rounding and hunching over in your malasana, it's best to create length and grow through your spine. There's a big tendency to hunch in this pose. So instead of hunching forward, try growing from your tailbone, low back, mid back, upper back, lifting your eye gaze slightly so you can really create some length in your spine. If you are not a subscriber, I would love if you would hit that bell and subscribe. Lastly, if you really want to dive deep into your malasana, check out this video where we go even farther. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Landon Slaughter, helping you discover that fun and consistent at-home yoga practice. I will see you in the next video and namaste.